seems to be working. Oh, did you see that? There we go. Okay. And that'll what help happens? you get like away from stuff. Yeah, are you watching? I'm watching. Where the fuck am I? <laughs> Minecraft that just crashed. Good. Okay. Hello, everybody. This is Rick Dangerous, my lovely wife, Verne B. Hello, everyone. And we are back. We had a little bit of a tragedy the last episode and ran into a bug that crashed the game. And I really don't have the knowledge for fixing bugs, so I thought... I thought it was over. I thought we were done and gone. I tried to do a couple, you know, repair tricks, the most basic ones that didn't work. And then I remembered there are backup files. So I was able to pull up a backup file. It put me about an hour back uh, prior to the crash. So there was a couple things that were undone. But I was, I did manage to uh, uh, rebuild things back up to where they were so that we can continue. Here's one thing that I did build uh, in the background. It's pretty simple. It's just an empty bottle surrounded by sticks. And what this does is it collects my experience. So no more building up huge amounts of experience to only die and lose it all. But what it does is it creates these bottles of uh, enchanted. Oh, I have a follower I get these bottles of enchanting, which will return my experience to me. I also, in the need for, um, there were some other changes. I tried to make everything else back exactly as it were. I had to remake the uh, the witch's brew, added just a tiny little bit to my garden. And the biggest change of all I did, I wanted, this was a big one. I added another layer to my farm to my cactus farm. So now I have two layers of cactus and I'm also starting out some with, with some sugar cane. But this is my second layer and I plan on putting a third layer on for just the sugar cane. And all this comes up here, it breaks off as you saw, saw there. Cactus falls down in the hole down onto this level, falls through the hole, comes into my hopper, and then is collected in my chest. This is what crashed my game, trying to put the lava generator on. And I figured out what I was doing wrong. I was trying to shove a lava bucket into an item pipe instead of a fluid pipe, and the game didn't like that. So, what I'm going to do take these out put my lava generator down here and we want a transfer node for fluids and then throw a, a pipe on here and if I open this up and look and here it is the lava is automatically going into the lava generator which is generating power I did pick the basic capacitor bank as one of my quest rewards. So we'll take that over here and pop it on top. Let's see if it will work automatically if I'm going to hook up some, if I'm going to have to hook up some uh... Nope, it's automatically sucking it in. Look at that. You can see the little indicator there. This will fill up to a million RF and I have power. I'm generating uh, 45 RF per tick. Which isn't a whole lot. It's not great, but it is a start. This means that I can start working towards automated systems, such as the auto sieve. It is going to require two blocks of iron, four pieces of uh, glass plane, the sieve, and two pieces of iron. Now, I did sieve a little bit of metal, not a lot. I have 18. Here. Let me go ahead and get rid of this food I just harvested. Get this out of my pocket. 
seeds up here. What we got here? Sand. Throw that in here. Do I have any cooking? Oh, good. I do have two. So I think I have just the right amount of materials. So I need two blocks of iron and two pieces of iron. I also need the glass. Do I have any glass over here? I have four pieces of glass, which is not quite enough. So come over here. I'm going to fire up two pieces of glass. And what else did we need? And the seat, the sieve. So I can come in here, go ahead and finish sieving this piece of gravel that's in here, and use the axe to pick up our sieve. Now when I put this down, it's going to come right through that window where it's located. So that means it might be time for me to move some of these boxes if I want the sieve in here. If I put the sieve outside, which I probably should do, put it over here to the side. Uh, should have grabbed the glass while I was out here. Grab that glass, and if I remember correctly, I gra get glass planes. I took six pieces of glass, put them together, and that's 16 glass planes. So now I should be able to click on the sieve, and I have all the pieces. There we go. One of the things I did take from another um, completed quest was my energy conduits, so I didn't have to mess around making them. No mesh, so we'll put a mesh in here. Now look at our little guy here. We have a little guy trapped in a... <laughs> he's trapped in there and he has the mesh for us. So I will take this energy conduit. Put it here. He now has power. So what do I have on me? I have gravel. So if I fill this with gravel, look at him go. He automatically starts to mesh. If we look in here, and he, he starts, starts finding this stuff for me. I love it. A little automation going on here. Well done. I want to get a couple of these because I want um, an auto hammer, which will break like cobble down into gravel and it'll break gravel down into sand. Check out my cobble generator here. I told you it wouldn't take long at all to fill this. Check my power here. So this little guy is using more power than I'm actually putting out. But, yep, I have lots of nice resources here. Here's some lead or tin. Already got ten iron. Power in through there. Let's go ahead and make another chest. Um, am I going to be able to... Let's break this way so I can step down here. We want an item conduit, a uh, transfer node. And then the transfer pipe. And now all that stuff that he's making is automatically going into the chest. Wow, he went through all that gravel really quick. Just a quicker way of getting gravel instead of having to break them individually. can break them compressed. So now I have the 64 gravel. I can come up here, throw it in there, and put Steve back to work. Okay, our temperature this morning is eight degree, 18 out of 11. I am going to take the opportunity to cool down to pretty chilly. We'll come down, uh, 6 is good. And let's go ahead and try and make that run again back to the city. And that was what I was trying to do before, was just get over to this marker here to complete the quest before I burn up and I did not make it. So I am here. There we go. Quest complete. Origin unknown. Now since I'm here, we can peek around. Ooh, spawner. Let's go ahead and destroy that. 
and books. Those are always good. Put a torch in here just to keep things from spawning. Look at this. We got freebies from the chest. Get these books because I will need them. I'm going to drop this rice because I don't need it. Oh, and we have a creeper. Oh! And I should go ahead and take the chest too, so I know not to come back in here to get it. It is daytime, so... Now's the time to raid this during the day. Oh, that's good. That's some good stuff. Take it all. Yeah, the problem last time I came out here and died from heat stroke wasn't because it got hot so fast. Uh, I'm an idiot. I left when it was already overheating. We were not prepared very well, I'd say. It was eager. Eager, yes. Eager to die. That's about it. Eager to die. Alright, let's take a peek in here. There is a spawner there. Let's see if we can destroy that quickly. Okay, how are we looking here? Is there... Oh, you hear that sound? The lovely sound of a blaze. Oh, uh, we don't have the hearts for a blaze. So, yep, time to go home. I have my nine experience, so we're just going to come up here. We slap the painting. We get that experience out and just throw it back in here. So when I need it, I'll have it. All right, how much copper do I have? I have 25 copper ingots. So what I'm going to do... Okay, so this, if I just take a block, surround it with copper, and now if I use this on here, here, now I got two storage chests, each with twice the amount. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, <laughs> but that's okay. Okay, so we are working on dying. <laughs> my temperature we do that so well. My temperature is at two. Apparently I froze my ass off standing inside. I currently do have four hearts. Uh, let's go ahead and grab some food here. Get outside in the heat. Get over here by the lava. And once we start taking some damage. I only got six more seconds of this. Keep my food up so that I keep healing as I take damage, and that should. Oh, wait, I got another 28. Oh, because, damn it. Okay, this is not good. Uh, if I drop in this water here, I mean it's six, but I thought it would push me up quicker, but it's not. One second, and we're good. Okay, we're out of danger. Okay, let's check our buddy here, Steve. No, dummy. Damn it. Steve, ya hog. What did he do? I had these hard, uh, they're not hard, but... My better food, my pumpkin. My pumpkin stew for quick healing. And I went up to see what was going on inside there to see if he was empty, and he ate my stew. And he's got nothing in there. All right, what do we got over here in the term, terms of iron? Because one thing I think I really need to make quickly and cook this is another another words 
stupid funnel thing. I can never remember the name of it. So I will compress me some more cobble. And we'll just lay that out. Okay, so I have some stacks of gravel here. Unfortunately, he only holds one stack. So the idea with the metal is if I create a chest, a hopper, that's what it's called. Damn, hopper. There we go. There we go. So I can take this gravel and throw it up in here now. And it will suck it down into the hopper and down into this guy. So he's working a little harder. Um, is that all the iron I have? Broken copper, broken gold, a bunch of metal. Need to just cook this and go walk away. I'll watch the trainer never. Is he already empty? Oh, he's out of power. Yeah, I'm. I'm already using more power than uh, than I have on hand. Temperature inside is kind of warm, so we'll turn the coolant back on. And let me check the quests. So we're still killing stuff. Oh, all right. So we got the cooking quest we can do. That looks like our the regulator, which the regulator is going to need. Don't follow that. Is going to need stuff I don't have, basically. So let's follow the cooking quest. A mixing bowl, a juicer, mortar and pestle, and a cutting bowl. I am not going to remember these things. Mixing bowl. How do we make that? Simple enough. One, two, three. Add a stick. There's our mixing bowl. Alright, how about the juicer? The juicer is chiseled stone and a stone pressure plate, which is just two chiseled stones. So I do have a chisel here somewhere. Don't I? Or did I lose that? I am not seeing a chisel. All right, well that does that doesn't matter because those are easy. Uh, chisel. All right, it's a piece of stick and a piece of iron. I don't have iron. No, I do. Yep, every step forward uses up like all of your resources that you get, that you made uh, to get there. So there's a chisel. Okay, we got it. That should be quest done. Yes, that was easy. But what do we get? We get bakeware, two lamb with mint sauce, and an epic bacon. Those are two foods that are awesome. We'll claim those. That opens us up to make bone stock and spider eye soup. So bone stock, I know we're going to need bones. We have three bones. We have two spider eyes, and I need three spider eyes. So I'm going to have to go hunt me a, a spidoo. Uh, the other direction we could go, hunger games. They need 30 rice. 30 rice and 40 rice seeds. And this is what I was talking about with the different kinds of rice. There's a vanilla rice and then this Pam's Craft rice. So two different kinds of rice and it only takes the one kind. Let's just get rid of these. And we'll collect all this.
chisels and bits left click to place sneak to ignore block grid mouse wheel to cycle placement rotation see I knew there was a way to rotate those I wasn't there a floating well saw that out of the corner of my eye <laughs> didn't register okay now we'll take these um, the juicer is kind of nice we'll use that really quick so if I get, say, carrots, I think I can do it with carrots, put the juicer up here, and then put two carrots and then juice them. Hey, now I got carrot juice. And what are we going to eat today? Um, I don't want to eat any rotted flesh. How about a baked potato? Okay, how are we doing? Let's go ahead and grab some dirt. Expand the garden a bit. sand in here and refill the it's another thing I can automate once I get enough metal to make another funnel Jesus Christ I can't remember the name of that thing hopper make another hopper and I can have it feed uh, cactus and dirt right in, in fact I could move this whole watering thing over near my cactus place and have that all just run automatically constantly making water So one of the things I can do is I can actually create a small lake. And with this lake, if it's far enough away where I'm not uh, interacting with it, it should spawn me some squid. So take you, take you. Here. I do have sand. Now let's just keep the rest of this. Not sure how well this is going to work. Okay, my, my creeper killing skills are shit. Here. And go back over, get some water. Leaves are changing. It's going to get cold. Yeah, no. I mean, it does get cold, but not that kind of cold. back and check on that iron. It's going to take a lot of water to do this. Put this across here. Yeah. 
So the plan is to create a mini lake. Now the larger I make it, the more um, I believe that the larger the chance that they're going to spawn. But they, yep, they've already spawned. So I've already got me some squitters over here. All right, time for some calamari. So, who wonders? Maybe this will work as it is. So if I can get this to flatten out. Or am I being silly here? I think I'm being silly. Let me rebuild this back up. So if I just put, say, here. Fill this up. And the squid can come down here and die. And wash up over here. And head over here and see if that works. It's already getting dark again. What if I put it right here? Snaddle gun? No, it wasn't. I was just looking wrong. It's growing quickly, quickly enough to harvest already. Okay, so day of screw ups, but we have I have managed I got a rudimentary sugarcane farm put in. I do have the auto sifter. Garden's a little bit better. We got power. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. Um, oh, also forgot to mention squids. So we have Calamari Lake over there. So things are looking good after that horrific crash in which I thought brought everything to an end. So this is Rick Danger signing off along with my lovely wife, Brene B. Say goodbye, Brene. Good Brene. Time keeper. And we will. Timekeeper? <laughs> And we will catch you next time.